Hey, y'all, hey. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So the Resilient Jenkins has uploaded a video, you guys, and it's kind of a response. I believe her name is Sarah. It's kind of a response to all the videos that are going viral right now and people finding out that she's married to a SA offender. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, Queen Blama, and more. I'm going to add my, I'm sure you know there is a lot being said about me and, and I think that it's time that I maybe give my my story let people decide for themselves if they want to hear it from people who weren't there who didn't experience it or the person who actually went through it I'm sorry if this video has a few cuts. I have really bad social anxiety and sometimes articulating some of my thoughts takes a minute. I've heard people say that that makes me appear slow and that they, they feel like I'm mentally behind because of my social anxiety. I've also heard people say every time we call her out something, she's speechless. <clears throat> There's a difference between speechless and sitting and making sure you don't just say the first thing on your mind. I don't I learned that lesson. I don't just say the first thing on my mind. A lot of people have just already decided to hate me and that's your stance. That's your right. I mean, she tried to go viral for two or three years. So now that she is viral, I think the best thing is to sit back and <laughs> let it come to your mind um, patiently, not to just yell out what you're thinking because you can destroy your viral sensation real quick. I'm not gonna try to convince you otherwise. I'm just gonna share my authentic self and hope that God can bring in the right people. Please take the understanding that Jesus died for everybody. He doesn't not love me and he, he's not here. This is what I mean about social anxiety. Jesus accepts everybody. And people keep coming into my comments telling me, God doesn't care about you. He wouldn't better your life because you're this, that, and the third. I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm not going to be throwing. That's crazy. Um, you know, it's trolls saying that. If, if it was someone that actually believed in the man above, they would know not to say something like that. You know, people say God don't bless no mess, but... That's just a general phrase, but to actually come and specifically say it in the comment section and really say, you really think he's going to bless you? Like, you know, leave it to him to decide if he's going to bless her or not. It, it ain't my decision. You feel me? I mean, that energy. I don't plan on stitching or duetting all of these nasty videos. I just plan on continuing to do everything I've been doing from the beginning and keep bettering myself as a mother first and foremost and as a person i'm getting a lot of backlash about oh well, people shouldn't be buying things on the wish list and you say that you have the kids best interest in mind when you're coming at these approaches of of judging me and judging andrew you don't have the kids best interest in heart if you're trying to snatch them away from us they love us we take care of them we are very involved parents you most so certainly don't have my kids' best interest in mind when you're sharing their exact location, letting people know where they go to school, and putting them in danger in that position. Now, one could now you didn't have your kids' safety in mind. You were being greedy, and you just wanted to get the people's money instead of thinking and saying, "Hold on, all money is not good money. All items aren't good items. I'm not going to jeopardize my children's safety and give random strangers our address and tell random strangers that we don't even have a lock on our front door. Like, what kind of creepy shit is that for you to even to announce to the world? And the kids sleep in the front room and you and your man sleep in the bedroom. Now that you are addressing everything, address 
the fact that the kids sleep out in the open and y'all sleep behind a closed door. Why is that? They come at me and say, well, you've shared enough about your location that we can pin it down. Nobody told you to go pinning down anybody's location. I'm certainly never going to be doing that to any family. That's their business. That's their life. Why would anybody need to take the time to pin down our location? I see that people did bring up my history with CPS. If you think that that didn't teach me how to cross my T's and top my eyes, top my eyes, then that would be crazy. Of course, I took that knowledge. So she got a history with CPS, and yet she's laying up making more kids and got her kids sleep on the floor in the front room. And she's going to say, if you think that didn't make me cross my T's and dot my eyes, obviously not, because you're advertising to the world that you got kids sleeping on the front room in the kitchen floor and you and your man sleeping behind the doors. Make that make sense. And you already been involved with CPS. Girl, you're not learning. And tried to grow from it and make sure that I do the best I can to provide an environment for my kids with the circumstances that I have. Now, like I mentioned, I'm gonna share my story. There's gonna be a lot of comments on here about, well, you didn't, why aren't you working if you're trying to better the kids situation? That's gonna be in the story. You can decide for yourself how you feel after my story is told. But right now, She's not working because she don't want to work. The same as she said, she wants to go viral so her husband doesn't have to work and he can stay at home and hump her and make more kids. Although he's not working a real W-2 job because he don't want to pay child support. So he out there doing some fake self-employment stuff, which isn't even bringing in enough money to get them a two-bedroom apartment. And they having more kids and she wants to make more. Make that make sense. She literally wants to be a clown depending on the government. She doesn't want to do better for herself nor her children. There's just an opinion from one side. You don't have my version of the story. I haven't elaborated completely on what I went through with my ex-husband or any of the position of what I went through in the work field. It's all reasoning behind where I'm at today. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody had a great Halloween. I'm not sure about anybody else's kids, but my kids woke up. So she's saying um, circumstances and the ex-husband, which I'm not sure if she's divorced from him, that's in jail for being an SA offender or whatever, allegedly, is everybody else's fault that she's not currently working and providing for her kids, but she could lay up and make more and more kids. Make that make sense, you guys. I cannot with this female. She doesn't take accountability. She doesn't want to do anything to provide for her children. And that's a serious I issue. In the comment section, they said even the Gallagher's had more than one room. Child, it's, this is a mess, you guys. She doesn't want to do better for her children. Y'all, we have turned her off the screen. That is the end of our video. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel, Queen Blah Blah and more. Smack that bell notification. Make sure it says all oh, not personalized and hit the like button, you guys. Happy Friday. Today is November the 8th. I will talk to y'all in our next YouTube reaction video. Bye, y'all.